deadliest consequences and Pathological symptoms. The plague spreading even faster than we thought. More infected men. The symptoms don't look the same. This is chaos. of today. Brave, stupid, and can't survive without an old man's help. Oh yes, I've missed the feel of cold imperial steel. Don't hold unless we help them! Be careful! This disease is sending some of our boys insane! They're firing at us for no reason and... Damn fool! Are they all just raw recruits? Seems like they need me more than I need them. soldiers. These are the same as the others. Something much worse is happening here. The reinforcements, and I thought I'd been in the army a long time. Listen, this area's already lost. Everybody's either escaped 
or they're dead. Oberleutnant Jonas Zimmermann of the 6th Corps, 8th Army. I have an urgent delivery for the field marshal. Well, the officers have all been evacuated to Fort Stern. You should come with us to the field airport. It's close enough. And find yourself a pilot to get you there. We're supposed to rendezvous with our train crew. They'll be passing nearby. Blow this thing away! Stay close, though! The creatures are everywhere! What's happening here? This disease, it's nothing like the one I was working on. Don't know what it is, but it spreads bloody fast. Some of them behave like mad animals, and others, they're evil. Ambush, take cover! Don't stop!
that's it then. <coughs> we can't move on without masks. Someone, go and find us gas masks. Hurry up. Can't take much more of this. War, plague, and a bunch of idiots. Now where are the masks? Got one. It now. Dark Commodores, I'm turning into monsters, and I'm out collecting masks. I will drink your You too? <laughs> Thanks, old man.
That's it then, old man. We have to go back to the train now and get all the ammunition the hell away from this mess. You're on your own now. This is definitely not from our world. What the hell is happening? Monday six.
How many bullets do I have to waste on you freaks? I thought I was the only survivor in this bloody mess. These godforsaken monsters, whatever they are, captured everything in sight. I need to get one of the planes back from them and fly as far away from this hellhole as I can. Oh, by the way, I'm Peter Volker, at your service. The name's Zimmerman. I've an urgent delivery for the field marshal. Listen, if we capture a plane together, will you get me to Fort Stern? Well, two soldiers are better than one. Why not, eh? Anywhere's better than here. Before long, the sky is gonna get damn crowded. We need to blast those planes to pieces before they take off. Yes! Ready for more, you savage bastards! The question is, where are they? Okay, give us some cover!
safer. I could have found out what they are and how to make use of them. What are you? Some kind of mad scientist? I am an officer and an explorer. I seek knowledge for myself and victory for the fatherland. Why are they shooting at us? The books that got to set them in spring. Like traitors! Damn traitors! I think we know why the plague is spreading so fast now. The question is, who is giving the orders? You know, no offense, but for an old man, you're not bad. Now I'll take that pilot seat if you don't mind. It's about time I go through the fortress. Change seats? In midair? Then you say I'm mad? Come on. Old timers like you should be settled in the back, enjoying the scenery. I'll try to get us the hell away from this mess! Man! Shoot down those fire bullets! Last night I... Hey, are you still breathing, soldier? Hold on, I'll get you out of there. Anyone with you? Damn. Not anymore. I can't help your buddy. Uh, Scheisse, my leg. And we almost made it. This creature came flying at us. Well, your friend wasn't so lucky. But glad you made it. By the look of your plane, seems your guardian angel had a busy night. There's a house close by. I'll get you there. Take a look at your wounds. Wait! You're a damn Englishman. No, no, Fritz. I'm a damn American. Lieutenant George Patton's the name. 
Don't be so choosy about who's saving your life, soldier. I don't thank my enemies. Thanks are for barmaids and bellboys to so save your breath. Point is, our little war's become irrelevant. Now move! They'll come at us as soon as it's dark. Get up! Get up! They're here! They're all over us! Doors get up! Get up! They're here! They're all over us! Doors locked! Sweet Renault tank. Ah, uh, that little baby will break your heart. I doubt it. Let's move. this entrance. Lock the other end, then get yourself back here. I don't take orders from you, Lieutenant. But I happen to agree with your plan. I'm honored. Now move it! I'm on my own now. Put your gun down. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're all that's left of our regiment. We tried to break into the monastery. They've got some French tanks there, see? About the only things that'll damage these bloody monsters, whatever they are. The monastery. That's where I'm going. Oh, are you? Some chance. The cavern's the only way through, and that's full of creatures like you've never seen. Horrific. They'll tear you to pieces. And plenty more of these bog-eyed freaks before you even get there. You've not got a hope in hell. You can rot here forever if you like. I'm going on. You're bloody mad, you know that? I have a mission, and my duty. Is that a British concept? I'll show you what a Scotsman can do, pal. Yeah. And I'll get even with those flesh dripping bastards while I'm at it. We'll help clear your way to the cavern. But if you want to go inside, 
be those monsters dinner? <laughs> That's your lookout. something to me. Have I caught the disease? No, this is no disease. This is the turn of the tide. We feel the seed of change you carry with you. You are not like the others. Show me you are worthy. Show me. thought you were dead. I could say the same about you, Lieutenant. How did you make it through? <laughs> Takes more than a bunch of meat-faced loons and a few flames to stop one of the tank corps. Even without my beautiful Renault. So, what now? You wanted to get to Fort Stern, am I right? If I can get there, I may be able to bring this horror to an end. Well, I'll drink to that, pal. It's a long way. But if we can get my tank rolling... I'll get you there in one piece. Oh, American technology has let you down, Lieutenant? My little baby's French, and she's lost her heartbeat. You'd call that a carburetor. We can fix her up, but it means taking our chances in the monastery. I've never been there, but I have a bad feeling about this monastery. And so you should. It's being used as a lazarette. Quarantine, you know? But it's one hospital where you wouldn't want the nurses looking after you. Why not? We stopped there last night to repair the carburetor. It was late, looked abandoned. Collins took the gear inside to get some light, and we never saw him or the carburetor again. Instead, we had to fight off these damned crazy nurses. More like animals. Looked like they got rabies or something. Anyway, we oh. Oh, I think we have company. Let's go.
Get inside the main chapel and try to unlock the side door to the monastery. Walker had locked it with a key, but some butcher-like fat bastard cut him in half with a meat cleaver. And God knows where he is now. So watch your back. I'll stay here and cover you from all the freaks coming this way. And don't mess around with the sisters if you meet any. They're faster than the rotten bastards we've seen so far. And not much prettier. I'm afraid doctors and nurses. Here, good boy now. And come to me. The same behavior, but their flesh doesn't seem to be rotting. We must be getting close to the source of the disease.
Damn. That was close. Never seen anything like that before. Really? Then I suggest we move on. Or you'll be saying the same thing again. I thought we'd had it that time. Thank God we made it. It seems God has little interest in this place. You're a deep one, Zimmerman. But you can fight. I'll give you that. I'll look for the carburetor. You check if your tank is still there. Yes, sir. Your eyesight's pretty good for an old trooper. You see, Lieutenant Patton? It took a German to actually get something done. Oh, yeah. Your boys have done plenty around here, and not all of it good. I've promised to take you to Fort Stern. Get in before I change my mind. Yeah, an old joke. Can't say you're a bad driver. Where did you learn? That's none of your business. You're a good soldier, but one hell of a miserable man. I've never much cared what the common herd think of me. Hell, we'd both be thrown out of charm school. But I'm happy to have you along, Jonas. Need every pair of hands I can get. I'm not here to help you. I just need to get to the fortress as soon as possible for all our sakes. With Field Marshal Menge, I can finalize the vaccine. Stop this disease from spreading. So, you're a doctor, huh? I'm a scientist. I know how complex the tools of warfare can be. And what people will do in the name of victory. Now, wait a minute. Well, let me get this straight. Are you saying somebody's spreading this plague deliberately? I already have proof. Now I need to find a way to stop it. Against its creator. You realize what you're saying? You're just as crazy as the madman who started all this. I'm saying that I'll do whatever it takes for my people to win this war. This truce between us and its new rich monster. It's a deal. You know, I almost forgot we could be fighting against each other someday soon. Don't you think that's sad? In war, there is no place for emotion. However, I do admit, you are a good soldier. Hey, if I spot you on the battlefield, you want me to miss? Fortunately for you, I won't be joining the regular troops. I did my time in the past. I was a soldier before you were even born, boy. Uh-huh. Were those ancient Greeks as deadly as they say?
Damn it! They were good kids. Casualties. Necessary factor in victory. Flesh everywhere I look. I am defending. Going on foot will make things even harder for us.
for this little sweetheart. So cover my back! I'll do my best! Just be quick, will you? Get inside, old man! If I can stop this damn thing turning, then I'll be through to the fortress. Don't know how you'll survive without me, Lieutenant. Okay, let's shut this piece of junk down.
It's time for me to turn back. Don't plan on bumping into your German pals. At least not right now. Hope you find what you're looking for, Zimmerman. I wish you luck. Indeed. This joint operation is over. I'm sorry to say, we're enemies again now. You have my sincere thanks. Like I say to my boys, always do more than is required of you. And remember, a pint of sweat will save a gallon of blood. Now move it, soldier! Yes, sir. Is a small wooden house. Am I too late? Have the creatures already overrun Fort Stern? I didn't come this far to turn back now. never ceases to amaze me.
Zimmermann. It's so good to see you, my friend. It's been a long time. You've been rather hard to reach lately. <laughs> But nothing is impossible, as we used to say in the good old days. Ah, yes, our glorious youth. And doesn't all this excitement remind you of Morocco all those years ago? We're not children anymore, Hans. We have more honorable business here than shooting unarmed Africans. <laughs> you still can't get over Morocco. I'll never forget it. But come, we have work to do now. Of course, work. You have brought me the vaccine, haven't you? Yes, I have it here. It was quite a struggle. Give it to me. I've waited for so long. This is the last thing missing. Missing? The enemy From what? You've played your part, my friend. Your role is over now. What are you talking about? I need to administer the cure. It's a scientific procedure. It's a substance you've developed for me. You know nothing of what's to follow. Give it to me now. Slow down. What are you saying? What have you tricked me into this time? I'll spare you the unnecessary details. We need this vaccine to control the plague. To control? Don't you mean to cure? These are just words. You always were so small minded, Jonas. It was you, wasn't it? You set this up from the beginning. You're the one who spread the virus, and you needed me to invent a way of controlling it. You're the cause of all this. Don't be pathetic, Jonas. You can't even imagine what's going on here. I have made a pact. A deeper pact than men like you could ever understand. If I don't fulfill it, Then we are all doomed! I don't need to hear about your treachery, or who you sold your soul to. Your new pact is with me. Take me to the lab, let me finalize the vaccine, and then I'll tell your court-martial that you're just a mad old fool, and not a filthy traitor! You really don't understand, do you? There never was a choice, either for me or for you. Why do you think you've survived for so long? In amongst all this carnage! Now give me the vaccine and walk away. Stay where you are, Menge. Listen to me, Jonas. No, the time for diplomacy has passed. Last chance. Last chance? You had one, but you've just lost it. Killing him wasn't so hard. After. Thanks for getting that bastard off our backs. He'd gone insane shouting abuse at us the whole time. He started ignoring direct orders from Berlin. They wanted us to abandon this worthless fortress and he claimed we had to defend it to the last. Thanks to him this dunghole was almost our graveyard. Will you just shut up and take me to the lab? I need to prepare the cure before it's too late. Old man, let's find some explosives and blow this wall away! Listen, blow this wall away! We should spit up. You take the door on the left. There must be some mechanism to unlock this huge bloody gate and get us into the lab.
ground. His flesh rotting disease, it was all part of There's something evil ruling this place. I can feel it even now. Menge believed in magic forces from under the ground. His flesh rotting disease, it was all part of his experiments. And your vaccine was the final part of his plans. He needed a way to survive the real plague he was about to unleash. All his scientists died when he was the Human, by killing Menge, you ruined our plans, but not entirely. With your abilities, you could be more useful to us than he ever was. A dark soul such as yours is not to be wasted. <laughs> Just kill me and go to hell. <laughs> no, you go to hell. 
but not in the way that you imagine. Deep below us lies an item, its value beyond compare. We need it to restore the power of our great race, which once shone like a mighty sun. You will bring it to us. <laughs> me? Why me? You have found us. Perhaps this was destiny. You will repay us for the death of that pitiful Menge. And we shall enjoy seeing whether you are capable of defeating the Golem and bringing his treasured artifact to us. With that, we can break into hell and finally stop the true enemy. And what if I refuse? You have no choice. I've never seen you before, but I feel as if we are one. Uh, what's happening? The change. Power is gathering. The soul escapes. Something is changing. 
inside me. Do I really have to follow them? What am I doing here? Since they've changed me into one of their kind, so am I.
defeat you, but yourself. What? The second you, come and see. from the chains of humanity. Nothing can stop me. Now they'll pay the price. I'll make them suffer. I'll rule them for eternity. Now, only one task remains. Where is this cursed golem?
At last, the artifact is mine. Its power courses through me. I feel it commanding me. And now that I know what to do, I will not hesitate. Only I know how to use this power. The demons are winning this war, and not a single human or vampire can survive without me! I must create a new army, an army of the undead! Warriors without doubt, without mercy, without fear! There can be only one ruler of the darkness! Now is my time! Yeah.